My name is Dr. Michael Brown, and this is Three Words, a bite-sized podcast about the simple and yet very strategic choices that all of us can make in order to be fully alive. In the studio today, I have my good friend, Mike Williams, who engages us in a conversation on these three words, finish your degree. We talk about why most of us quit most of what we start and why we have this impulse to give up when the going gets hard and when life gets tough. And so today we are inspired by our friend Mike, but also talking in the context of what does it mean to finish your degree? Not just your high school degree, your college degree, but the degree in any chapter of your life, in any sphere of life, any dimension of life, how to stay the course even when things are challenging. Listen in. Mike Williams, welcome back to Three Words Podcast. This is our second conversation that we got to have here in the studio. Our first was obviously Break the Rules. And we're going to have a great conversation here in just a few moments about three different, very different words. (laughs) But in the meantime, for those who did not listen or watch our first episode, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh my goodness. So my name is Mike Williams. Many of you know me or may not know me, but if you do know me, I go by the name Mike Williams on sax. I love music. I love just being able to be with people, inspire people, and uh, just put a smile on people's faces as well. Well, we love that you love music because obviously you pulled out your saxophone right here in the studio (laughs) during our last episode as we talked about breaking the rules in regards to music. And yet today you're offering three very different words, not break the rules, but finish your degree. Okay. I'm assuming you're talking (laughs) about a college degree. And I want to hear more about that. Why did you choose these three words for our conversation? Oh, my goodness. Well, I want to dive straight into it. You know, for me, it's about not only college and, you know, taking your education to the next level, but whatever it is in life that you're doing, I want to encourage people to finish it. No matter what, if you start that thing, I don't care what it is. If it's eating a bowl of cereal, finish that bowl, (laughs) you know, finish your degree, finish what you start, you know, get in that habit of just completing whatever you do, because you'll find that there's a track record that'll happen from there too. you get in a good habit of completing things. When something else comes up, you'll probably complete it as well. Well, you're making the life coach really happy as we're starting this conversation, (laughs) Mike Williams, because I will often say that most of us quit most of what we start. And I think that we have become a culture of quitters because when something's not fun or, you know, it feels a little hard or it begins to feel inconvenient, we just say, you know what? Maybe not. Not worth it. And it is worth it to finish your degree, to finish whatever is Worth it. Now, I'm presuming that we can both agree, and we had this conversation briefly off camera, that we're not saying that every single person who's listening to three words right now needs to go to college and needs to get a college degree. There's a lot of opportunity even outside of that. However, Mm -hmm. you would say, I would imagine, in light of what you just (laughs) introduced, if you start the program, if you start at college, you should finish your degree. Absolutely. No matter, you know, how painful it is. Um, cause a lot of times there's tons of hours that you have to spend studying and reviewing material and learning your professors. That's, that's a big battle too. Just learning their style and learning how you receive information and just so many steps you have to take, but it's worth it in the end to just finish whatever you started. Now, Mike, it sounds like you're talking from personal experience. So oh, talk absolutely. to us about your uh, maybe degrees. I, I think you said you had two degrees oh, now. Oh, absolutely. Was that, was that a smooth road? Oh my goodness. It was nice and bumpy. Uh, just, just the way we like it. <laughs> so tell me about that. Oh my goodness. So undergrad was a, was a fun experience. I kind of had a splash of a couple of different worlds going on. And uh, so I earned my degree in business management, which was fun. You know, I love just, I won't say being on top, but like knowing what's going on in an organization and understanding how each of those moving pieces work. So that was really fun for me. And In addition to that, I did do a minor in musical recording technology. So I had a little bit of fun on the side, too. But, you know, those courses, it's the real deal. I mean, you're making that transition from high school and you're away from your parents and family and you have to just buckle down. And at least for me, you know, being an undergrad, it was the first time that, you know, I had to make a lot of life altering decisions and I had to be fully accountable and responsible for it. 
You know, couldn't blame it on mom or dad or my dog ate my homework. It doesn't work in college. You you can try it, but it just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so it was it was kind of a new experience for a lot of us. And for, you know, many people that was the end of the road, you know, that first and second semester. That was it, you know, for whatever reason. But I knew for me, I wanted to keep going. I wanted to push myself in and out of the classroom. You know, I want to take what I learned in the classroom and apply it to organizations and activities and just all types of things. And you put all of these different experiences together. And then, you know, four years later or five years later, or however long it takes, you know, you've got this wonderful degree. And of course, a lot of us, you know, it may change, you know, what we started out studying might change by the time we're, we're done, but it doesn't matter. You know, what matters is that you got that piece of paper and you know, it's an expensive piece of paper sometimes, but you know, it's worth every, every penny. Hey, three words audience. I'm going to hit pause right now in my conversation with uh, Mike Williams to simply say, Hey, I'm guessing as you're engaging in this conversation, you know, of others who are struggling with finishing what they start. If that's the case, would you share this episode with them? Now back to our conversation. Well, and it's interesting you mentioned that because even uh, some of the latest research on employers and what they're looking for, because they are looking for degrees. Absolutely. Um, you know, in fact, even now there's those who would say that a master's degree is a new bachelor's degree. Uh, and I know you have a master's degree. We'll talk yes. more about that. But it's interesting uh, as we kind of dig into the research, the employers are wanting to see one or even two degrees, not necessarily because of the expertise and the knowledge that comes from those degrees, but it says something about a person who finished degree one, Mm -hmm. who finished degree two, who finished degree three. I I know for me as a first generation college student, my parents did not attend college, but I now have three degrees, Mm. a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, and a PhD. Now, I'm not bragging about that because my kids make fun of me. I mean, the joke in our family (laughs) is, you know, dad has three degrees. He's now has a doctorate, but we all doubled his ACT. T score, oh. which is absolutely true. And I will go on record right oh, here yeah. and now a 17, a big, bold 17 on my ACT oh, to which yeah. my kids, three of them, 33, 34, 35. Oh. But the point is I finished. Absolutely. And I was tenacious and I worked hard. And the reason I have the degrees is because I finished. And I think it says a lot to those that have been connected to me over the years. You know, I'm probably not the most intelligent person people have met, but I am driven and I am tenacious and I am persistent. And I think that's what employers are looking for. They're looking for individuals who say, even if I don't feel like writing that paper, Mm -hmm. I wrote it. Even though I didn't feel like studying for that test, I studied. And that skill, that grit Mm -hmm. is really, really essential to success in life. Absolutely. What are your thoughts about that? You know, I I feel the same way. I feel like it's almost like that new starting point. Um, Hey, they finished their degree. We don't care about anything else that's happened before that. We're looking for who's hit this benchmark, who's hit this accomplishment in their life. And those are the type of people that we want to be involved with our organization. Those are people we want to hire. Those are the go-getters. Those are the people that, you know, if we ask them to do a report, yeah, it might take a little bit extra time or you may have to stay late or, you know, maybe you have to order some fast food or something, you know, to keep you going while you're going through it. But they're going to get it done. And that's who we need on our on our team and organizations and all of those things. So, I mean, I think you're absolutely right about that. And what prompted you to go on and get your master's? You know, so the biggest thing that happened was you had, of course, the pandemic. Everyone knows about it. We all experienced it. And time kind of slowed down and stopped for many of us. And for me, I knew I had to keep going. I had to move in some way, shape or form. And I knew I couldn't go out and perform. I couldn't go where people gather. Mm -hmm. Um, So I had to exercise a new area, you know, exercise my brain, which hadn't been worked in that way in quite quite some years. I think it had been about seven or eight years in between undergrad and graduate. Interesting. Um, So it was a bit of an adjustment. And, you know, I I knew it was worth it, though, because, again, you know, everything slowed down. But I was like, oh, my goodness, I have to keep moving. Like, Mm -hmm. that's just the way life is. Like, you have to always be moving forward. And uh, so I knew, okay, let's pivot and shift in a way where we can still move and thrive. But, you know, we can exercise a different part of our body that maybe hasn't been used in a while. What fantastic perspective, Mike. (laughs) You know, I'm guessing we have a pretty young uh, listenership that tune into our podcast and to three words. And I'm guessing there are those who are listening to you right now in high school or even in college, or maybe they're halfway through that second degree. And they have felt often 
like quitting oh, or yes. even justified and said, Hey, you know what? Maybe this isn't for me. Uh, was there ever a time in your journey where you were tempted to be, whether it was your undergrad or your graduate degree, where you're like, you know what? I think it's time to call this quits and pivot a little bit. Um, there were some some moments, especially in the very beginning. Um, ironically, you know, you have this adjustment getting back into the college and school and exams. And one of my first courses was one of my hardest courses as well, ironically. And uh, I was like, oh, my goodness, who would ever sign up for grad school? Like, this is terrible. And, uh, you know, there were just so many times where I was just like, I don't know if this was the right decision. Like I could be just relaxing or people were talking about this on social media and I can't even participate because I'm trying to study for an exam, you know, and, it, you know, I had a lot of those moments, but I just kept trying to remember why I started, you know, what was the motivation? What was that driving force that had me apply? Because it took work to apply. Mm -hmm. So what made me apply? And then using that as fuel and motivation to keep going through those exams and tired, you know, nights where you're up all night and drinking coffee and whatever it takes, you know, trying to get ready for those papers or exams or whatever it was. And I think that was the biggest thing that kept me going is remembering why I started so that could help me finish. Well, and you also mentioned one of the threats and that is this doesn't feel relaxing. Oh, <laughs> I mean, is there ever a time? In fact, you know, even as I was going through my doctoral program, I would actually Monday through Thursday and even my kids would still, they still talk about it. Like we didn't see dad very much around <laughs> bedtime because I would from bedtime, their bedtime to my bedtime, four nights a week, I would head to the library and write. Wow. And I would do that four days a week. And I did that for a couple of years. And it was, I mean, in the dead of winter, wow, I'm driving to the library cold. because oh. I didn't want to be doing it. I don't want to do it in my room because yes. I'd fall asleep. But it was, there were days where I literally was like, I can't do this anymore. Mm -hmm. But then I was reminded, and, and we talk a lot about this in three words, but even as you know, anybody who's you know motivational and wanting to kind of become their best version, have, are familiar with this idea that you choose hard now yes. so that there's easier later. Absolutely. And if you choose easy now, the relax now, I just want to chill, man. I just yes. want to relax, man. If you choose all that now, it's going to get harder later. And so, True. you know, I think about uh, even the opportunities that I've been afforded as a first generation college student who's kind of made their way through uh, higher education, you know, without me get finishing my degree, there'd be no DMB coaching. There'd be uh, MB. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there'd be no yes. DMB no and doctor. there for yeah. Dr. Michael Brown. And yep. there probably wouldn't be coaching because who's going to listen to me, right? Yeah, so absolutely. I think in many ways, I chose some hard in order to experience some easy. Now, not easy, mm -hmm. but actually more fun, absolutely. more rewarding, more yes. successful, more, more opportunities come at me than I can even count because I put in that hard work early. You know, it was interesting that we were having this conversation tonight because just today during my workout, <laughs> I was in a conversation at uh, the gym with a young man who is halfway through, literally at this point, halfway through his master's program. And his name is Joshua. <laughs> and I didn't even make the connection until I was driving to the studio tonight that we had this conversation in light of our conversation. <laughs> but he said to me, he said, you know, Michael, um, there, I'm exhausted. And I said, how you feeling? You know, here we are at this <laughs> midway point. You're about to yeah. start classes again. Absolutely. And then he made this comment, which really stuck with me. And I want to share it with you. But he says, I love the feeling. I love the sense of accomplishment mm. that battling through a master's program is giving me. Absolutely. But it doesn't feel good at all. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so I was struck it by that not. comment that Joshua made. And I hope Joshua listens or watch our, watches our episode. I'll make sure to tell him when we talk about him. <laughs> but it was really true. I mean- there's a sense of accomplishment when you actually just look at it and go, this was so good. I'm glad I did this. But never once am I trekked to the library. Never once, I'm guessing, during those late nighters when you're when you're drinking cold coffee, <laughs> Folgers coffee or whatever, <laughs> thinking, man, this feels so good. Right. There's yes. nothing else I'd rather do than actually finish this degree. Yes. So I'm going to give you the final word, my friend, because obviously you expanded this conversation even beyond degrees to just finishing what you start. Um, and, and what would be your encouragement? I mean, obviously there's folks your age, a little older, a little younger who might be thinking about their degree, but also just thinking about this idea of tenacity and perseverance and persistence. I'll give you the final word, my friend. Absolutely. I want to take us all the way around the world. I'll bring us back. But what I will say is uh, one of my closest friends, great buddy too. We were undergrad, uh, spent a lot of time together and uh, he never finished his uh, collegiate degree. 
And uh, it, it always rode him and it was always something that stayed in on his mind for forever. And uh, I was always rooting for him. And one of the cool things over time is he ended up breaking the rules and, you know, he went a very non-traditional route. And now, you know, he's doing really well. He's making six figures. He's, you know, he has so many certifications in so many different areas. And one of the coolest things I think about that story was even though he didn't finish his degree, he still found other ways to be creative, other ways to kind of stack up, you know, some credibility and some things that would be able to help him pivot and move forward. And I, I think one of the most interesting things about that story, too, is he never finished his degree, but now colleges are hiring him and flying him out to different places to teach courses. And it's just an amazing story. And I think it um, is just going to inspire us all, no matter what it is in life that you're doing to finish it. And if you don't finish that specific chapter, because you can always come back, you know, like the book of life, you can always come back at a later point in time and finish what you started, but also break the rules and find creative ways to still thrive and still accomplish whatever it is that you want to accomplish in life. So that's that's what, what I would say there. Now, to all of my my folks that are in school right now, don't listen to anything I just said. Finish that degree. <laughs> Get it done. Make it happen. Have some fun. Laugh about it. I know it's not fun, but just make it fun anyway, you know, and get really tight and cool with your professors and colleagues and just make the best out of it because there will come one moment in life, one time in life where you're going to miss those days, even though it doesn't feel like it. You know, you'll miss oh my goodness, goodness, I can't believe how ambitious I was and how much I enjoyed just getting after it and making it happen. So uh, just a combination of all those things, I think will be the best way for anybody that's listening, no matter what age you are. You know, Mike <laughs> Williams, you're an inspiration to me and I'm sure to many of our listeners and viewers, and there's no doubt in my mind, you'll be back in the studio again, but thank oh, you so much for our conversation oh, today. Thank you. Oh, it's always a pleasure. Thank you, Three Words Podcast. And yeah, cannot wait until next time. Thanks again, Three Words Podcast family, for taking these few minutes with us tonight, me and Mike, to have a conversation and to engage in some some great dialogue about Three Words, Finish Your Degree. We just want you to know how much we appreciate you. We appreciate your support. We appreciate your engagement. And we want you to know that we want that relationship to continue to, to move forward, but also deepen. So if you would go to dmbcoaching.com slash subscribe, Again, that's dmbcoaching.com slash subscribe. You can offer your email there and we can send you monthly or even every six or eight weeks, depending on the, the season of the year, we'll offer you some free content, some, some new ideas, some fresh insights that you'll never hear on this particular podcast, but will be put in your inbox as an opportunity for you to grow into the better version of yourself. So again, thanks so much for being with us and we'll see you in a couple weeks.